What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm really excited to announce that Grayscale Gorilla Plus now has official support for Unreal Engine 5. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Grayscale Gorilla, they started off years back doing educational tutorials for the Cinema 4D community. And since then, they grew into a marketplace powerhouse focusing on asset building and they have thousands upon thousands of assets at your disposal from 3D models to HDRs to materials, everything that you could ever want. But the main focus used to be Cinema 4D, but today I'm proud to announce that we have official support for Unreal Engine 5 with a very fluid workflow using the Grayscale Gorilla plugin. Now I'm on the Grayscale Gorilla website right now and right off the bat, you can already see the quality products that we have, which you might be asking, why would you want Grayscale Gorilla? And I can say, honestly, Grayscale Gorilla makes a perfect companion to Unreal Engine, even if you're using a Mega Skins asset, as I'll be showing you right now. There's a whole plethora of stuff that they have that aren't even available within the Quixel Marketplace or any other marketplace that I've seen out there. Starting off with the clay. Like right now, if I look at the clay, you can actually see it's really defined. We have a whole variety of different type of texture packs with the clay that looks really nice. Going back over here to features, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit more just to quickly show you some other stuff that we have. We have some foam here, styrofoam, which I've never seen in any other marketplace. Like you scroll down here and you can just see like we have some speckles in here. We have some nice displacements in here as well. And I'll show you guys here in a moment how we can actually pull these through natively in Unreal Engine 5 using a plugin so we don't have to manually put these together at all. But first, I just want to run you through a really basic scene just to get you kind of acclimated with Grayscale Gorilla Plus. And so I'm inside the asset market right now. If you come over here on the left hand side under models, you see stylized. I'm going to scroll down just so I see something cool that I want to put in. Maybe something simple like this hand icon. So we do have access to cool 3D models. I'm just going to click on download and it's going to download to wherever you want to save it to. But let me actually come over here to materials going to click on this and let's say we want to start off with clay we have some really cool clay assets down here i'm going to scroll through maybe let's do a colored one so let's scroll back up maybe let's go with this orange one right here where it says clay to orange i'm going to left click on this because i want to show you guys how we could bring in materials but also we have some really cool hdrs i'm going to do indoor and let's look and see what we have here so Maybe we just want to do this one, Cloud City. I'm going to left click on this one and we're going to let this one download as well. So we're going to get started inside of Unreal Engine 5.3, just using a blank scene, as you can see. And so to get started, you actually want to come up here to where we have edit. Then you want to come down here to plugins. So I'm going to left click on this inside the search. I'm actually going to type in gray. And as you do, you start seeing this spell out. But once you have the plugin, you actually want to make sure that you have this activated here. So it's the Grayscale Gorilla Material Importer. And if you come here, usually it's going to be checkmarked off. So you want to make sure that you activate it. And once you do, you're going to see this down here where it says restart now. I already had it activated, so I'm not going to restart it. But it should only take a few moments to get that going. So then you'll have access to the Grayscale Gorilla Importer, in which if I come up here to window and I scroll down at the very bottom, you'll see Import Grayscale Material. So I'm going to do this right here and I'm going to find a folder that actually have my material in it, which I made just a generic folder GSG and we have our clay right here. And so you don't have to click on this. You just want to be within that folder and I'm going to select folder. And once you do, it's going to say select materials to import. Now, if you click on download more, that's going to take you to the website. But what I want to do is just import everything that I have check mark here, which is the material. So I'm going to import this and then it's going to say one material imported click OK. Now, if I scroll up my content browser, you can see that we actually have our material in here. So I'm just going to save all real quick just out of habit. But this is cool. Now, if I double click on this material instance, let me actually make this larger. You can see that we have some parameters here on the right hand side. So if you want to rotate the angle, you could do that. I'm going to click that off. If you want to tile it a little bit, you also have access to that as well. And then also the height scale, you can click on this. You could change the displacement on there, which this isn't a good example for that one. I'm just going to take it back down to one. But other materials like plastic might have other attributes in there. So it's always good to just go check and see what attributes you have. Now, you'll notice that that importer only imported the materials and that's because they're doing FBX. I mean, it's literally just drag and drop. So I'm going to come over here. Let me come down here to a folder I made called tutorial. Now I'm going to drag in a Windows Explorer here in which we have this hand icon. I'm going to double click on this. And you can see that we have an FBX. So I'm going to left click on this, drag in my FBX. Pretty simple if you're familiar with Unreal Engine. I'm just going to import all. 
and now we have our FBX in here in which I could left click drag it into my scene but we're not going to see it because we don't have any lighting in which I'm going to take care of that now so back in my Windows Explorer I'm going to come over where we have Cloud City this is our HDR and as you can see right here we do have an HDR file I'm going to left click on this drag it in and now we have our HDR in here in which in order to do this we can actually get one of two ways in which I'm going to show you my favorite way because it allows you to use the alpha channel if I come up here to where we have this cube with the plus symbol and come down here to lights you want to click on skylight now you can actually use HDR backdrop and that's only if you want your HDR visible but I want to be able to render out with alpha channel which I'll use the skylight right here and with that selected I'm actually going to come over here to my details panel scroll down here to where we see source type and i'm going to click on this and you should see an option here for a cube map so i'm going to left click on that and then i could drag my hdr into my scene and now we should be able to see our hand so i'm going to double click on the hand here and let me actually hit g on my keyboard to get rid of those icons and stuff but now we can actually see our hand in here which is very tiny so i'm just going to come over here to scale bring this up to 10 double click on the hand and now we can see it inside of our viewport so just to add the clay texture to it, I'm going to come back down here where we have Grayscale Gorilla. It's going to actually add this folder once you import some materials in which you can see I already have a lot in here. But I'm going to use the orange one that I just brought in. Left click, drag it on here. In which if you look at it at a glance, you can actually see that we have some issues in there. And that's easy fix. Like if I come back down here to my material, you come down here to where we have material property overrides, two-sided, click that on and now you have a two-sided material so now when we go back in there you can see that it's no longer having those issues in there and it's as easy as that so i just added an hdr i brought in the material and I actually have the 3d model in there as well now i didn't want to make this video too long but we're only scratching the surface of everything that's here inside of grayscale gorilla like i'm actually looking at surface imperfections and we can see a lot of stuff that's actually in here that we don't see in a lot of other marketplaces which i think is cool you don't have to have a membership just to come through and see what they have but once you see stuff that you actually like you can actually just come through here get your subscription and go to town and of course as always if you have any questions about this marketplace and how to really get it going with unreal engine leave me a comment down below and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in the next video i see you soon take care